Welcome everyone to an exploration of generations. Today we dive into the world of millennials and boomers. Now who exactly are these millennials and boomers? Well, millennials are individuals born between 1981 and 1996. Boomers, on the other hand, were born between 1946 and 1964. Now there's quite a gap between these two generations and it's not just about the years, it's about the world they grew up in, the experiences they had and the values they hold. This generational gap has led to an interesting dynamic sprinkled with a bit of friction and a dash of mutual misunderstanding. We often hear about the common points of contention between these two groups. Boomers might perceive millennials as technology-obsessed, impatient, and lacking respect for traditional practices. Millennials conversely see themselves as progressive, challenging norms, and embracing change. It's a fascinating interplay, isn't it? So, let's delve into the 18 things that millennials do that irritate boomers. First up on our list is the constant use of technology. Millennials, those digital natives born between 1981 and 1996, are often glued to their devices. From dawn to dusk, they're swiping, clicking, and tapping away, whether they're at work or at play. Baby boomers, however, see this as a sign of laziness. They reminisce about the good old days when conversations didn't involve screens and emojis. They worry that this dependency on technology is eroding real face-to-face -face communication skills. Technology, a boon or a bane, depends on who you ask. Moving on, boomers often perceive millennials as entitled. This stems from the idea that millennials expect certain privileges or benefits without having earned them. It's as if they've ordered a prime rib dinner, yet they haven't even set foot in the kitchen. They're seen as wanting the corner office on their first day, the gold medal without the race. It's perceived as a want it now, work for it later mentality. But remember, perceptions can be as tricky as a magician's hat. Now that's a tough one to swallow. Here comes the money talk. One criticism that often pops up in conversations between boomers and millennials is about financial responsibility. Boomers tend to view millennials as financially irresponsible, citing their spending habits on things like avocado toast and the latest tech gadgets. They believe in saving for a rainy day and investing wisely, principles they feel millennials disregard. But let's not forget, the economic landscape has drastically shifted since the boomer generation, so is it fair to compare apples to avocados? Money matters indeed. Next up, the job hopping phenomenon. In the eyes of the baby boomers, a steady job was a sign of loyalty and stability. They often stayed with the same company for decades, showing dedication and commitment. But for millennials, the landscape has changed. They frequently switch jobs, seeking out new opportunities and experiences. They're not afraid to leap into the unknown, embracing change as part of their career growth. Is this constant movement a sign of instability? Or is it a pursuit of better opportunities, stability or opportunity? generational perspectives differ. Now, let's tackle the social media saga. Millennials are often seen with their eyes glued to screens, fingers flying over virtual keyboards. They're tweeting, posting, liking, sharing, a whirlwind of digital interaction. For the baby boomers, this can seem bewildering. They see it as an unhealthy obsession, a time sink that replaces real-world connections with virtual ones. But is it really that simple? Is this new form of communication just a distraction? Or is it a new way to connect, to share, to learn, the digital world, a new reality, or a virtual trap? Instant gratification, a millennial trait, you bet it is. In this digital age, where everything is just a click away, it's no surprise that millennials have developed a craving for immediate results. This is a generation that grew up with the internet at their fingertips, where answers, entertainment, and even shopping are all instant. But this doesn't sit well with the boomers. They're from a time when waiting was part of the process, whether it was for a letter in the mail or the next episode of their favorite TV show. So to them, this millennial need for instant gratification can seem like impatience, even entitlement. Patience is a virtue, or so they say. Traditions, are they meant to be broken or preserved? The age-old question that often sparks a heated debate between generations. Boomers, who hold traditions close to their heart, are often left perplexed by the millennials' casual disregard for these practices. From skipping out on Sunday family dinners to favor a yoga class to choosing to live together before marriage, millennials are redefining the norm, often to the dismay of their boomer counterparts. But remember, every generation brings its own wave of change and this is just the millennial way. Tradition versus progression, the eternal debate. 
Next on our list, the casual approach to dating. Gone are the days of old-school courtship replaced by more relaxed, often digital interactions. Millennials have shifted the dating norms, trading formal dinner dates for casual coffee meetups and writing love letters for text messages. This change can be unsettling for boomers who were raised on a strict diet of tradition and formality. They see this casual approach as a loss of romance and commitment. But for millennials, it's all about flexibility and ease. Love in the time of millennials, a different ballgame altogether. Well, that was quite a list. Let's recap. We've delved into the world of millennials and the 18 habits that seem to ruffle the feathers of the boomers, from the constant use of technology and perceived entitlement to financial irresponsibility and job hopping. We've also explored the millennial obsession with social media and their penchant for instant gratification, not forgetting their disregard for traditional practices and a casual approach to dating. But let's remember, these are not flaws, but differences born of changing times and evolving societal norms. It's all about perspective, isn't it? Each generation has its own unique set of characteristics, shaped by the world they grew up in. Understanding these differences, rather than criticizing them, can help bridge the gap between generations. So the next time you find yourself irked by a millennial's behavior, pause and try to see it from their perspective. Remember, every generation has its quirks. Understanding and empathy go a long way in bridging these generational gaps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep bridging those gaps.